All right, this is uh, Mar Hawkman again with Castle Brigadoom. For those of you who have not played the Dragon Quest game series, I believe it was Dragon Quest IX, uh, one of the things that's a significant plot point is that the kingdom you are assisting, their royalty used to live in a castle built in a place called Brigadoom. Well, you know, it's the standard RPG thing of, oh no, the monsters forced us out of our castle and now we have to live somewhere else, yada, yada, yada. And of course, you as the intrepid hero go to the castle and kick the monsters out. Um, uh, more on that later. Okay, uh, this was meant to be literally a social map thing. So really all I did was build a map. And it wasn't finished with it yet because it was, it turned out to be an incredibly complicated thing. Um, the white. Well, okay. You fight these undead zombie-like enemies in uh, the uh, mission. Why is this one wearing a party dress? Because in Dragon Quest IX, uh, certain categories of undead are actually basically just people that are undead. They're not um, mindless zombies. So they actually, you know, like dress and for the most part act like people. It's just that they're undead and they um, typically aren't very nice people. This one is me attempting to recreate the, the boss that you fight at the end of the uh, uh, mission of uh, the my main story mission where you first go to the castle because you you go there you have to fight a bunch of uh, bad monsters and so on and so forth and eventually you fight this undead woman who dresses like that, sort of. Anyway, um, yeah. The Drexella costume was just me making a, a version of, her, of one of her outfits as a Foundry character because someone wanted the sliders for the Foundry. Anyways, onward to the map. Explain more about what the map is. Anyways, as I mentioned before, I wasn't actually finished with the map, but the castle is one of those like semi-fantasy medieval things where, you know, you have an actual central uh, castle, an outer wall, and several other things here, there, and everywhere. Since I hadn't finished it, um, certain parts of what it were, was supposed to have in this part of the castle just aren't here. Also, the green sky is actually because of the fact that when the monsters took over, being undead, they um, changed the place up a little bit to uh, suit their liking. So when you go there in the game, there's just like green haze covering everything. That pile of stuff is just things I placed so that I could uh, um, take a look at them before using them as part of the build to better understand the exact specifics of what they look like and so on and so forth. As I mentioned, I didn't actually finish building the castle. I did, however, plan to use these uh, rugged uh, stones things for the entire outer wall so there probably would have been like a solid row of those all the way around both sides of the castle we don't have proper stairs so i had to use this giant ramp as a substitute for a staircase there would be a giant door here but we don't have those i probably would have found some sort of like thin vertical wall thing that wasn't too large to uh pretend was an, a door that just didn't, you know, 
open when you interacted with it. Uh, again, this is part of the outer wall I was talking about. All right. Now, the actual level was a multi-story thing with several rather large cracks in the floor that you actually had to run through the cracks. And, oh yeah, this is a problem I ran into when building it. Hmm. Getting all of these platforms at just the right height for it to actually work. See, because here we're at the top and we can't make that taller. Yeah, anyway. Um, the actual original castle layout, uh, this had a, a throne room that was on the th third floor and I didn't finish building the second floor. I did, uh, however, like, um, one section of it let's just see if I can get it. yes okay one thing that you oh wait that's the wrong way I'll get back to that later uh, one of the things that you had to do in the uh, Dragon Quest 9 mission when you first get there is because the castle is in such a thoroughly trashed state you have to wander around through um, places where it has just like a hole broken in a wall. This room here was like the castle armory, which, you know, the monsters like hauled off all of the weapons, so there's nothing really for you to look at other than a bunch of empty boxes. Maybe like one or two things, maybe. Here is another one of the like small rooms that doesn't really go anywhere. I think this map is broken. Anyway, so uh, part of the mission was uh, you had to um, um, actually like go through a broken hole in the wall and uh, clamber through some tunnels that the monsters had dug because of the fact that a certain part of the castle had collapsed and it was the only way to get around it. Should have been another way walkway. Hmm. This is actually like this grotto that was in the back side of the castle where um, the monsters had just like dug in a dug a, like their own little like private hiding hole where they could uh, throw stuff. Oh yeah, now I remember. Uh, the original map had multiple areas that were like sealed off we had to like go on a certain floor to get in here's one of them yeah all right building that was fiendish because let's face it this is like the smallest staircase i could figure out how to make Ugh. This was actually like the jail area. Um, you know, you have like the rusty iron bars and stuff. These uh, are like... So here is one of those things I was talking about. Is that In the actual mission, I put this rock here with a gap in the wall because of the fact that this is actually the way you were supposed to get into the jail. It's a, but there's this like collapsed wall thing or whatever. And here, you know, a uh, rusted shut gate and... A, a broken wall where you can just like walk through a hole in the wall because yeah of course it does uh, okay this is stage one what I was planning to do with this was to this is what's referred to as Brutica Doom in the present because of the fact that when you go there for the story mission that is in universe the present well, what I was planning to do, but never got even finished with the present version, was build a past version that was uh, meant to be what it looked like before the monsters trashed it. Hmm. Oh, well. Anyways, and that's that. Because, yeah, I, this is one of those like weird concept things that I built solely because of the fact that I wanted to um, 
visualize what it looked like in a way that uh, I couldn't you do with any other medium. Uh, oh yes, one thing that I didn't get around to figuring out is that in the actual mission, there's like a giant crack in the floor. Which is just one of those things where uh, you have to walk around it because, you know, there's this huge feature. Never did get around to figuring out how to build one of those. Oh yeah, it's also part of the reason why you have to go down and go around and then come up on the other side. Anyway, though. But that's the essentially part of the thing, thing with that, though, is like taking the old, dilapidated, trashed version, extrapolating from the parts of it that were still intact, and then like using like basic building design logic to attempt to ascertain what the rest of it was supposed to look like, and then building a second version of this map that would look like that, but you know, not trashed. Interesting thought experiment that mm, part of the problem it was actually just like making the pieces fit together in the first place. Because uh, half of the work I did for this, I would have actually like directly copied and not rebuilt everything from scratch. Because the shape of the outer walls didn't change. When the monsters trashed it, they just, you know, it was mostly the interior that got demolished. Because like I said, there's like hallways blocked off with rubble huge fissures in the floor. At one point in the mission you actually have to jump into the fissure because it's the only way to uh, bypass a locked door. Then you like unlock the door from the other side and then you can just like walk through normally. Alrighty then, well that's it for this uh, video. On to the next one.